वेलकम बैक टू दावा प्रोग्रामिंग सीरीज एंड टूडे वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू राइट डाउन दी प्रोग्राम टू प्रिंट टेन टू वन सो बिफोर वी जम्प इन टू दी प्रोग्राम लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दी प्रोग्राम डेफिनेशन सो वी हैव टू प्रिंट टेन टू वन सो वी नो दैट हाउ टू प्रिंट वन टू टेन राइट सो आई कैन जस्ट राइट डाउन दी फोर लुक टू प्रिंट वन टू टेन सो लेट्स ए फोर इंटीजर आई इज इक्वल टू वन आई लेस देन और इक्वल टू टेन एंड आई प्लस प्लस and i can just print the value of i so it will print the numbers from 1 to 10 so run this program and we are getting the output that is the 1 to 10 so if you are not clear how to print 1 to 10 using the for loop then please check out my previous video because it's very important to understand the working of for loop right because it's a base of the any looping program perfect so we are just printing 1 to 10 but here we need 10 to 1 right So first number we want that is it ten. So I can just start with the ten. Okay, so first time it will print ten, right? So we are achieving the first number. Now you can see we are actually going from ten to one. So we are actually decreasing, right? So previously we were going one to ten, so we were doing increment. Now we have to do the decrement because we are decreasing. So we are going from ten to one, right? So I can just write down the i minus minus. Perfect. Now we just have to focus on the condition. So where we have to end the program. So when we are reaching to the one, we have to print it, and after that we have to end the program. So we can just write down the condition while i is greater than or equal to one. So while we are decrementing from ten to one, we have to execute this for loop till the time value of i is greater than one. So while we are decrementing from ten to one. The value of i should be greater than or equal to one. If it is going less than one, that means zero. Then we have to break this for loop. So I have to start from ten. I have to decrement the value, and my condition will be till the time i greater than or equal to one. When value of i is going below one, then we have to exit this for loop. Right. So let me just try to run this program, and it will print number from ten to one. perfect so let's try to understand this with the diagram so you can see here if we want to print 1 to 10 so if you are starting from 1 and if you want to print till 10 so this is our threshold value so first of all we are doing increment right because 1 to 10 so it's a increment right so whenever we are doing increment we have to print all the values till less than or equal to 10 right we want to print all the above value so we are just writing the threshold that is less than or equal to 10 but when we are starting from 10 and when we are going till 1 our threshold is here so we have to print all the value which is greater than 1 okay we have to print all this value whenever we are going zero we don't have to print so it's whenever we are doing decrement it's a greater than or equal to 1 and whenever we are doing increment it's a less than or equal to 10 right perfect Now let's try to understand the execution of the program. So first of all, we are starting the value of i with the ten. It will check the condition ten greater than or equal to one. Yes, ten is greater than one, right? So it will print the output ten. Now it will do the decrement. So it's a nine. Again, it will check the condition nine greater than or equal to one. Yes, condition is true. So it will print the value of i, which is nine. Again, it will do i minus minus. So it's a eight. Condition is true. Yes, eight is greater than one, right? So it will print eight, seven, six, five till the time it will print the one, and it will check one is greater than or equal to one. Yes, one is greater than or equal to one. So condition is true. It will print the value of i, which is one. Now it will do i minus minus. Now i is zero. So zero is greater than one. Greater than or equal to one. No, condition is false, right? So it will just exit the for loop and it will exit the program because we don't have any statement after the for loop. So output will be ten to one. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments regarding this video, try to write down into the comment section. Thanks everyone, and we'll see you into the next video.